Very ball called. So not a good start. Got some talk at the city end. And this time he's been fired with four. Through the back of just a lane. It was a half ball. He didn't swing. That's a short delivery. He's played that one beautifully. There haven't been many short balls followed today, but uh, he was on to that one. Oh, good shot. That's beautifully played. Come a drive by Lea to the offside field. Everyone's in the slip cordon. Oh, what a start that is. Uh, that brings up uh, the 50 partnership. That's another one. That's eight off two. And another one. Three in a row. Smash that. Back over Jacques Callas' head. It looked like it was going to be a cover drive. And there's a good shot. And uh, McLaren and Tierney will need to learn very quickly that Matthew Hayden is very powerful against him and then short. That's a soft dismissal, but a big one. It's one for Aiden. Aiden Kuzma strikes a disappointing end. Australia, one for Aiden. Hardly a better way to bring up a half century. He's in very, very good touch. Australia has got that away nicely. So they might have to run four. That's if Ponting's back is up to it. That's a good shot. Very well played. On the back foot, into the gap, and that's the short boundary so far. Oh, well, that's into the gap too. That's third man, so that'll be four. That's beautifully played. Great use of the beat by Justin Mayer. Eight off the over. Superb driving. Good hit down the ground. It was almost a one way swap, but he wasn't quite too, but he went through the Justin Lane. Another boundary. Oh, beautiful shot. He's playing superbly, Justin Lane, all summer. It's beautifully played. A little up. Not on the job with the point, goes to 50. Oh, that's beautifully played. He's waiting for it. Span the gap, that's four more. This is a beautiful thing display by Justin Lehner. Don't move for that. It's a glorious stroke. They're taking over here and putting in the lane. Oh, let's get into the gap. This will be close if he hits the stumps. Oh, I think that's hard, that's hard. Langer's done it, Langer's done it. He nearly ran himself out, and now he's running Ponting out. That was a ridiculous run. He looked up at the umpire before and he said, is there one to go? Pushed it in the offside and runs his pipe around. Got a little bit quickly too, that's the feeling. It's two down for 182. He's gone for it and that's a boy. What a way to go. He smashed it. And that's his century. Magnificently played. Justin Langer has done it again. Oh, that's out. That's out caught behind. Yes, he's given him inside edge. Taken. That's a very big wicket. Matty Hayward brought back into the attack. Makes the breakthrough. Three for 199. He took that one through the offside field. What a start for Steve Wall. That's a big wicket, Stephen Ward departs, Henderson breaks through, it's 4 for 211, and what a wicket, just at the right time for South Africa. Kenji was the catcher, Henderson the bowler, 4 for 211. Yeah. He got him, straight to first slip, that's very well caught, and now Henderson's got two. Australia, 5 for 238, and he played play brilliantly for his 116. Look for start, as he often does with a boundary. A little bit of width, but he then catch him and he says, well, I've got a real catch and I'll pick the gaps. Who knows is there. That's in there, that's out. Well, he's kept Henderson on. 
Adam Brook was going for the pull shot and hit straight to Mandy Haywood. And all he did was just get enough elevation to hit it straight to Haywood. It's 6 for 248. And that's true as well. This is an extremely expensive over. Oh, that's nice and quiet by the one. The fun of the pursuit cover is the handy partnership. So the end of the day is quiet. Okay, uh, six for 272. Warren on seven. Mark off 36. Take the score from 248 to 272 for six. Warren sweeps him down the ground. That's a good start by Warren. I think it's a good one back to Maiden. Junior and half volley. That's four. There it is. It goes over the people's head. Big defense, which is nice and straight. It's all day for Warren's former. That's a better shot. That's very well played. We blasted that through the offside. Well, that's pitched up. Blasted through the offside. Off the edge. Off the edge. And that will run down to the third man. May well get to the boundary. Anyway, the other they'll get there three. And this will bring up the half century for Damien Martin. He's played very well, he really has, he's played some beautiful shots. Lance Clues has got it, got Shane Warren. He's been shaving it away from the right hander this time, straight through him. Warren departs another very useful 41, 7 for 332. It's a great shot. Only Martin, brings up the 350 for another boundary. He's trying out that cut shot again. This time, Lee has hit it beautifully. Shouts of catch it, but it's just wide of the man that uh, Sean Pollock had just moved. Well, that's a lovely shot. That's the problem uh, with that plan. It can cost you. Oh, there's a five. Bit of rip ticket, but it's a natural time. Fine this time, I think it's a bear. It's a fine under. It's third in test cricket. It's got an easy, yes, that's well ball. He picks it up. Got it right. It's a big wicket for Hayley. He worked very hard. Eight for 409. Oh, that's a good hit. He gave himself some room. He went to the onside and dragged over a bit off. Superb use of the beat by Damien Mark. Sweeps, that's four more. That's through the big wicket. Gone again, as you say, Mark. There it goes. That's where man should be. Oh, he's had a go at that one. That's straight up in the air. This is going to be out. Boucher's underneath it, and he's got it. Boucher's got it. Just at the last minute, it seemed to just lurch away from him a little bit, but uh, I think it was probably that he slightly misled it. It must be out for three nights. Oh, I'll take it for you. Nice ball in, slow ball, clean ball in. Well, Ned McGraw got five. He played uh, three decent shots, and the rest really were very, very ordinary. And that was a good delivery. So, Nanty Hayward producing a slower delivery there, and uh, Ned McGraw. He, he either played over the top of it or uh, missed it completely. And the innings finishes on 439. Shane Spock will hit the pad first. That's a good shot. Square of the wicket and nicely timed. Oh, good shot. Beautifully played. Through the onside for four. It's a little wide and that's well played. It's nice and great, that's fine. Brings up the 50 and it's going to be a boundary. That's well played, it was there, it was foolish, it's a nice glance. He's going to deal with that, that was very short. A 
That's where he likes to play, the square drive. Very short. That was a bit of a mistimed shot, but it's uh, going to still reach the rope. Oh, that's going to be close. Oh, he's giving him, he's giving him out. And uh, Gary Kirsten out to LBW to the bottom of McGraw. So the first wicket is fallen, it's one up for 87. So hit away on the, the offside as well. So Dip and I are getting that one away for four. And away we go. It's the last ball of the second day's play. And again trying to yoke him right up there to the block hole. Another signal to Claude Henderson. And that, uh, that last delivery was the fastest ball of the test match. So South Africa two for 101. Good even bounce, Henderson right behind the line, two six and two gullies. Beautiful shot, square drive. A Hershey Gibbs, he's a fine player. It's 50, and what a way to bring up a 50. Beautifully played off the back foot. Short boundaries here on that level. Well played, Hershey Gibbs. That's through the gap, should go for four. Variable run scores to have Gloria Square, that's four or more, that's equal to any shot we've seen. Eight off the over, a good one for South Africa. Oh, he's had a go at that one, and he's gone flying away. So that's something. Oh, trouble for uh, Henderson, and that's well done. The grass hit the stump. So everyone thinking clearly, maybe not so for Claude Henderson. Well hit once again by Gibbs. Oh, it's gone! It's out surely! Yes, he went for the full toss. It was wide, he tried to belt it. Beat him in five. It's four for 178. He's given in! Oh, well, well, that was a long time. Bounce is gone for five. All of a sudden, it's five for 178. That's a good shot. Nothing more than a short arm jolt from Shane Warne. Actually short. That's a good shot. It's got that nice and fine. Clues up. And he's got it fine enough to go to the boundary. It's a nice shot. He's picked the gap. There's a big gap there between the covers, but he's got the timing as well. So he's played a couple of nice shots. That's a great shot. This time he has used his feet to play off the front foot. He's also picked the gap. Right, this time he finds the gap in the covers. And that will be another boundary. Ah! And Bolly. Well, he didn't have to worry about getting the old B. He's got one through the gut, Shane Warren. So that will be six or two. Superstitions. That's run. Down to third man again. There's uh, not been a third man today, so there's been uh, quite a lot. That's well played. That's uh, nicely struck through the covers. That's a gap that's been left for him for a long time. Mark Bounce is good enough to get the ball on the full and get it for four. Drive, he's got the shot, and uh, McGrath's after it doesn't look like he'll have any impact on it at all. The first one's in the air, and it's four. Over pitched. Well, it's in the air, and uh, it's got very fine, and it'll probably end up going for four, two, so that'll bring up uh, McKenzie's 50. Well, it was a fast delivery, but very nicely played. That's well played as well. So Dutcher uh, getting onto that one. That's short delivery he actually likes. He plays that full shot at every given opportunity. Oh, and there you go. He nearly took the umpire. Careful, Ben Kick. Oh, in the air. There have been a few that have gone through that area in the air. This time it's Boucher. This is turning out to be pretty frustrating. And this is going to go for four as well. That's well played too. That's a magnificent shot. 
He's rubbed that one away. Up he's uh, got to the leg stump. Shot. That's about the third or fourth one we've seen in the last 15 minutes. This time a cry of catch for Toga Point. Race to the boundary. Good shout. It's out. Yes, it's going in. Neil McKenzie, very well played. Oh, it's beautifully bowled, Dan. He's got the edge. Got the nod from umpire Ben the Dragoman. Out to a duck. And the South Africans now beat down for 356. Well, he's going to attack it. And successfully he has. Chance here, going up into the sun, and well taken. Justin Langer. So the end of Mike Boucher, very good innings by him. Uh, caught uh, by Langer for 64, off the bowling of Warren, 9 for 365. It's going to be four or out. He hit that one pretty well. In fact, he hit it extremely well. It's only uh, 8 or 10 metres inside the rope. Time he's running around and right underneath it. So Shane Warren does get five. Matini is gone and uh, Australia have it. A... Oh! It's close, close, close. I think there was a bat. I think there was a noise. Quick shake of the head. I think there was an inside edge there. That's the end of the ball. So it stops in the third day. None for three, Hayden and Hayden survive. Very interesting day's play, probably said that it was a little bit disappointing at one stage, it was 6214, punch for 141, the tail did really wag after that. Oh, he's got in, yes, that's a break to, that swung back in drove, I think it was his on the edge. So, an early breakthrough for South Africa. Just what they wanted, it's one for eight. Yeah. Over the top of the place, super for four. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. That smashed away. So a ball, well picked this time from Ricky Pony. And once again, well timed. Long boundary. Here at the end of that over the straight ones. A nice shot. That's a beautifully controlled back cut. A shot. Oh boy, is it that one. That's going for six. That's way over the top. That's a big six. Oh, oh that's going down. Yes, yeah, she's gone. All over. It's hitting like stump. Ponting resigned to the fact that he knew he was going to be given. He's out for 25, an enterprising 25, it's 2 for 66. That's a great shot, that's could be 4, beautifully fired, that's his strength. Oh, there it goes. It's been over the wicket, which is okay, but it's been too short. It's well struck, it's just going to clear mid wicket. Beautifully struck. Matini's got no chance. And he goes over mid off. Once again, extremely well struck. Oh! Oh, he's hit that one. That's flying away down towards the boundary. All the way. Big six. He's a pretty versatile batsman. He's hit that one nice and fine. I think they're going to have to hope that goes for four because if it doesn't, they might run five. It's going to just make it. <laughs> Superb shot. It's good for it. It's good for it. It's short and wide. It's down the gap. It's time he plays. He's getting a better shot. He brings up his 50. It was wider. He waited. It was a late cut. He's going to run all the way. It's a one round here in the right. I'll play half roll. And the ball goes and goes beautifully. Great use of the feet, it's a long hit. He's got that away. I think he got some away there. That uh, could well be his century. 
Ben Bent is not going to sit on that bias. That's his first test century, Matthew Hayden. It's his fourth this year. He's third in Australia. He's second on this ground. And he's very, very first against South Africa. Very well done. Yep. Well, Paul's going to play a few tricks. But uh, in general, it's been a pretty good uh, pitch. That's a catch, but it's going to be someone uh, with a sweater and a hat on in the crowd. And this time he goes through the covers. Brilliant use of the feet. And finally, Jax Callis brings to an end this innings of uh, Hayden. It's been a brilliant knock. Very, very warm. Well deserved. Right, into the gap, and away for four. Straight up in the air for Boucher, an easy catch, and Mark War is gone. In the end, uh, mainly frustration has brought about his dismissal. Is there a declaration coming? Whatever, Australia are four for 273. Gets a fine, good shot. It'll go all the way. It's a fine sweep shot. On ground here. It's gone. There's a man out there. He's got him. Another sacrifice by Adam Gilchrist. So uh, Adam Gilchrist down for 22. A quick fight, 22. 5 for 291. That's out. Good catch. Diving catch. The shout was catch it. Skipper's gone, Pollock is the man in quarters, 6 for 303. Straight away, first ball. Shane Watts down the wicket. He is having a good summer. That is out. Shane Warren trying to do what he did first ball to Paul Henderson. This time the swing was good, but unfortunately he missed the ball. 309 and 7 out and the declaration came. Henderson uh, finishing up with the three. Well there's that short delivery and it's beautifully played. That really was so easily played away on the onside. Didn't try to hit it too hard. It's uh, a very good shot. That's in the air and that's out. That's out. Good job there, the forward short leg in. I didn't have anything to start with. A little inside edge. It's one for 12. Shane Warren starting his second over. And that's a very good shot. Well, he, uh, he likes to play that shot. <laughs> Rich, that's it, that's out, that's out, last ball. What a tragedy. First and out. What a silly point. Bad bat. And, uh, well, what a tragedy. That's a good start, that's very well played. It was a quicker delivery for sure, and he's hit that up the back foot. The Jack Harris was tied down in the first inning, starts with a very good boundary. He's gone. Yes, a duck, a long duck, too well caught by Shane Moore. Just pushing half forward, and it was a low catch, caught it beautifully, the grass strikes. And now we need just seven more wickets to win this game. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, it's off the toe of the bat, and also in the gap. That's the uh, second boundary today's play, and the second to Jack Casper. Probably not where he intended to go. Oh, that's four. That's well played. Short outside, all stuck there. Let's be not getting it to happen. And to the air, and we'll take it. Very, very good catch. And it's Bluesner. Almost got it right. It's fine. <laughs> Three and that's eight for Australia, 74 on the ball. 
That's an excellent shot. Just in front of square. Excellent placement from Ellis. Australia is quite happy to let it go for four. Well, that's four. He's got that one all the way along the ground. He threw the covers up there. That uh, is Jacques Callis's half century. And he's through the offside for four. That's a very good shot by Callis. Up on his toes on the back foot. That's uh, his seventh four. Yorker, got the ball of the bat, and almost as South Africa's innings at 9 for 1 1 3. Oh, he's away, and it's 4. It's well played. It's up in the air, that's over point. And the Australians should let it go for 4, and they do let it go for 4. Big edge, gone, caught behind. Well, Italy picks up his second wicket and Australia win the test match by 246 runs. It's a very good all round performance from the Australian side. Two wickets to Brett Lee, two wickets to Jason Westby, three to McGrath, and three to Shane Warren. The last one, Hayward Corner caught behind at a Gilchrist old Brett Lee for 12. Jack Callis the other end ends up 65 not out of 175 deliveries. Of fantastic innings, fantastic innings of concentration. For Australia here at that over in the first test match. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.